hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix ios 17 stuck on update requested whenever apple introduces a new version of ios people across the globe rush to download it and be among the first user due to this it is normal for ios 17 to stay stuck on the update requested screen for a while as the apple server get overloaded however if the screen stays stuck for a very long time i'll show you how you can fix this problem so let's get start the video before we start the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos first of all force quit the setting app the first solution is to force quit the setting app and relaunch it you can simply open the apps feature and close the setting app then you can go to your setting app and try to update it and if it's still not working then the next step would be check your wi-fi connection and restart the router make sure you have a fast and reliable wi-fi Restart the Wi-Fi router which will improve the connectivity making it easier for iOS 17 to download. Also make sure you turn off the VPN if you have connected the VPN you can go to its application or you can go to uh, setting and click on VPN if, and if the VPN is connected make sure that you disconnect the VPN and then try to download the update and see if the download update downloads. And if it's still not working then the next step would be restart your iPhone. Another working way to fix iOS 17 update stuck on update requested screen is to restart iphone this will refresh things that may help you start downloading ios 17 for that you can go to settings click on general scroll down all the way and you will see this shutdown option from here you can restart your iphone once you have done all this step and if it's still not working then the next step is delete ios update from iphone storage for that you can go to setting click on general click on iphone storage and then you can scroll down to find ios file downloading and then you can click on it and delete the update again and try to download the update again so this will help you fix your problem hope this video helps thanks for watching subscribe